getting a draft. Oh, let's go. Shake it. What are you doing? Are you... You guys just seen that, right? That man tried to take me out. Welcome back today guys to the channel Forza Motorsport 7 finally coming back man I am gonna be honest with you I haven't played Forza 7 uh, in probably a good few weeks or so and this is actually gonna be our first run today with the Fnatic CSL wheel so if you guys did not know Forza Thons are back in Forza Motorsport 7 I don't know when this became active I found out about this a little bit later uh, but thankfully though we still have time to complete this and we're looking for that 2016 Mercedes AMG C63 S Coupe Forza Edition now that has the huge wide body kit on there very excited to have a fresh wide body kit uh, to slide around. So that is what I'm going to try to do today. We need to complete a few challenges though before we actually get it. We have four to be exact and I do believe that they have to be completed in order in order to actually get the car. So something new, it's different, I like it uh, and I'd love to know your thoughts down below. What have you picked up so far on these Forza Thons and what do you want to see next in the Forza Thons? Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys do want to keep seeing Forza 7 on the channel, don't forget to slap that like button. So first things first, we're going to sort by class, and we need to hit 180 on Homestead, Miami. So that shouldn't be too bad. We could drive something, you know, super easy. Oh, the damn Mazda 787B. That is a rocket ship. I would be down to actually run that. It, it sounds beautiful. Now, this is also why I wanted to do this, because it's going to give me a chance to drive cars uh, that I just haven't driven before. And you guys get to see them with the wheel, you know, how it's going to react with the force feedback. Um, I did a little bit of testing right before I started this and the wheel is super heavy so I'm really kind of uh, I'm excited to drive with it and really see you know the power of the wheel if you guys don't know Fnatic the whole rig uh, was sent by them so if you guys are looking to get any wheels for Christmas make sure you guys go check out description box down below it's not a paid or sponsored video by any means it's just uh, you know this is a great rig go ahead throw on some gloves for this shit man you damn well know I'm throwing gloves on for this these cars are gonna haul some ass I'd love to know down in the comment section though have you been still playing Forza 7 are you enjoying it? Uh, you know, anything that you'd like to see change? Now, I can't use the paddles if I want. Obviously, uh, shift is real nice. We just hit 190, so we're good on that. We're just gonna just ride this out. Stay on the inside. That is strong, man. Very consistent as well, too. That's the biggest thing with force feedback. You want it to be consistent force feedback where when you're in a corner like that, really digging, you're not feeling like a choppiness to it. And it does feel really damn good. Uh, so with saying that, we should be good to go. No? We're going to go ahead and exit out of that. And with all being said, we should have got the uh, first step necessary. So, uh, we didn't do it. Did I not go 180? Um, I'm not really too sure why we didn't get it the first time. That would be really disappointing. 190, man. 190. And we already are in miles an hour. Let's try this again. Seven eight seven. This sounds so damn nice, man. Well over 190. 197, 202 on that back stretch. The full throttle, no lift. That is it. 31.68. Now we don't get it on this one. I I don't I. So if we have not hit what we need to do. I don't know. Oh, okay, thank you, man. We got it on that one. We got it. Complete six laps at Daytona. That's it. J just Daytona. Now, if you guys did miss any of my Grand Theft Auto RP videos over the weekend, uh, I would definitely recommend checking them out. I had a lot of fun with them, and they're probably my favorite RP videos that I've ever put out. That I've ever put out on GTA. Now, if you guys have kind of fallen off that RP, uh, you know, style on those videos, I definitely recommend just coming back, giving it a shot for a few, and just seeing how it is again what the hell is happening okay we're good six laps this 
it's gonna be a cruise, man. We got the secondary camera as well. I love this one, especially with the wheel. You stay down low. How you doing, man? Look at him. Just chilling. We're just we're just passing through, guys. Look at this, man. Slide in port. Now on the console, I have noticed that the RPM gauges do not work on the console version, only on the PC it feels like. This man is gone out front, man. Look at this. And these laps are taking forever. That's two. We need six. Okay. Imagine cruising at 215 one-handed. Oh my god. Be ridiculous. We're getting a draft though. Let's go. Shake it. What are you doing? Are you You guys just seen that, right? That man tried to take me out. The AI tried to take me out. Oh my god, I've never seen that before. Literally brake check. It's greasy. Try to get as close as we can to this top spot. Oh, top for sure I was gonna hit it. Am I catching? Those are people just chilling. Oh my god, we're not gonna make it! We got squished, okay. That's not good. We're all over the road. God damn, man! What are these guys doing up here? Okay. Do a little bombing and weaving out here. Excuse me now. We got damn achievements to get. I know if we're gonna get an achievement for this, it's our first one I think we're completing. But I'd like it though. I'm six out of six. We're gonna try to take these guys on the high side. Oh, there's not a lot of room. Maybe they'll move it out. Okay, okay never mind. Excuse me, sir. Oh shit, he took me out on that. We're doing a 360 thing out the dam. Oh my god. No, you know what? That was at the finish line. And now we're just sliding around. This is not good. We're still in third though. We got podium. We got podium. Jesus. What a meltdown, man. God. Typical though, man. I just I just had to be extra on the damn finish there. Trying to take him out. It's okay though, we're gonna get our six laps. Hopefully we didn't have to win the race. If we had to win the race, I'm I'm not doing that again. Okay, let's pray that this is done. Oh my god. I did six laps. Completed. Why do I keep having to do two times, man? No. I did this. I just did six laps, man. Maybe it doesn't count that one extra lap. So let's try to throw on two laps. And let's see if we can get anywhere on this one here. We're gonna go no drive guitar, circuit. And let's just start this up. I'm gonna, geez, man, I can't believe that. We did another two laps. Hopefully, uh, the digits will line up and we will get six. I'm not even gonna go to the next race. I'm just gonna quit that. And I'm just hoping, man. This is, I don't understand, man. Why, why isn't it working? Worst case, we can just actually, maybe I can just cheat it and buy it, man. I'm gonna try to buy the damn thing. If, if, if we can buy it, it's greasy. I, I mean, at this point. Do I really want to do the whole damn thing? I, oh, we got it, man. Thank you. Okay, so if you're doing six, do seven. You're going to get it. I, I don't understand it, man. I really don't. Complete three races in a Forza P1 division car. Okay. These things are quick, though, man. Holy shit. Super agile, though. Oh, yep. oh, I can't wait to race one with this damn wheel though. Really just dial in some laps. That's the race wave we're gonna say with my Viper, Nuremberg Rain, right? I mean there's gonna be a lot of fun with this thing. Really excited. If there's any car or track selection that you would like to see on Forza 7, leave it down below. That was a, oh Jesus, that was a super damn wide turn. Sorry about that. Oh my god. I guess we'll hit the brakes. Oh. Okay, that's one. P1, done. Okay, so here it is. Uh, this is the car that we've been trying to get. And the buyout, it's a little expensive, man. $5.5 million for this damn thing. Uh, and that seems to be the cheapest 
as of right now. So I'm really sitting here. I'm kind of debating if I want to do it. Do I want to blow the stack on the car? To be completely honest with you, I don't. Do I want to do the rest of the challenges though? Not really. There's like three more races left. So I mean, at the end of the day, I may be just loaning myself the car because I'm going to end up completing it later on and then selling the car later. So I could even get more money for the vehicle. But for today though, I want to at least drive it right now, man. I just did bunch of races they're not counting i'm getting frustrated i'm getting upset right now right i need to remedy the situation i need to just buy the damn thing man five five before someone else buys it on me i'd be pissed and uh let me just make sure it's the right car okay that would have been jesus imagine that buying the wrong vehicle <sighs> okay so 5.5 million dollars you can collect your car in the garage big thank you man i want it fair and square is mine fair and square not gonna lie right now my stomach is grumbling man it's a little bit hungry right now but doing black pasta tonight actually i'm pretty excited about that black noodles uh we got some shrimp some sauce it's gonna be good man it's gonna be good i don't know if you guys have ever had black pasta before uh let me know if you have we got an achievement to go with that buyer's market six percent bought a car in the auction house well it was a damn well expensive one do i get two two no buying over five million dollars i no okay that's shitty we're down to 1.6 million dollars that was oh my god like i said we're gonna get it back we're getting the car back okay so it's not that big of a deal it's fine we're okay circuit of the americas c63 amg forza edition which should mean that we get the wheel lock as well too uh from forza horizon 3 i haven't really done a lot of testing on this game like i said i kind of fallen off of it because of mainly the content in the game it's you know it's not the cars it's the tracks and i feel like i'm breaking up man you know it's not me it's you but it's, you know, it's not the cars, it's the tracks of the game. We've had the same tracks for so long uh, that, you know, for, I would say for me at least, because I like to drift, I like to, you know, have a variety of, you know, drifting related tracks. Uh, they're just, there's not a lot in the game, right? You know, it's very tough to stay on it when I can go over to a set of Corsa and rip, you know, some proper tracks, right? So, I mean, I don't know, it's just, it's tough. I'd love to know your thoughts down below. Damn, man, super aggressive arrow kit on this thing. I'm not a big fan of the rear diffuser. It looks like a, uh, almost like a dustpan. No, I mean, you know, sweep the dirt in there for me. I appreciate it. Spoiler looks good. The fenders look great. It's just that damn rear diffuser. Everything about this car looks great except for that. Kind of disappointed about it, to be honest. It's been 5-5 for a giant dustpan. Oh, yeah. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Car's a little treacherous. Backfire, I like that, okay. Do a little skid racing. Just trying to test the limits of this thing, see what it can do. It gets angle though, you guys can see that, oh my god. Slide that fourth gear out. You guys can see the force on this wheel. It is crazy, man, it really is. Can we get that reverse entry going? Are you? Ooh. Somewhat okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna count that. I'm counting that shit, man. Would it be top ten drift material? Hell no. But damn, that was crazy. Okay. Wouldn't even damage a car either. I'm proud of that. Look at this wing shaking, man. It's shaking. We're going for a 360. Oh no. Wreck it. I'll just weight transfer this big girl in. Oh, she's so nice though, man. It just holds. You just feel that big old damn torquey V8 in there. And obviously, when you need to rip it, you can rip it. I do feel like the gears... I do definitely feel like the car itself needs some work to tune. Uh, but, from what I've been using right now, this is really nice. We're just getting a little bit too much angle there. Watch me. Uh, it does. It feels stronger now. Oh, my God. I think I just uh, activated the secondary force feedback of the damn. I don't. I, I don't know, man. It's stronger than what it was. Oh, we just tapped the damn dust pan. Okay, okay. Uh, bring me back to force feedback, please. That this is this is crazy. Hundred. Yeah. Okay. Whew. 
I think that just goes automatically with what the game is on that other setting, so that's good. I don't know what that does. Shock or some shit? SH? I don't know. I brought it down, though. I brought it down. Ooh, look at this damn cockpit, though. Real nice. I'm gonna run a little cockpit view here. Let's see what we can do. A little throw in. slide off a little bit not bad not bad dustpan probably saved us on that so i appreciate it we're grinding gears too not there though not there we're good i want to try to redeem myself in this straight and actually get a proper 360 here so let's try it oh there we go it felt sketchy i don't know if i was gonna make that or not but not bad, not bad. I wish I had my handbrake ASAP. I was looking for it on the wheel, man. That's the problem with not having this handbrake working is that you got to look for it, right? So if I wanted to lock those tires up earlier, uh, it wasn't happening, right? I mean, I just hope that we can get an update to actually allow this handbrake to work at some point in time. As you guys know, it doesn't work on any Forza game that you can't map buttons to. Uh, so that's really the biggest problem. I know people are saying, well, Slab, you know, why don't you use it on the PC and play it on the PC? It's, you know... However, I don't want to play this on the PC. I actually like the simplicity of the Xbox and just everything about it. So that's why I choose to play it on the Xbox One. Um, but it definitely, uh, you know, it sucks not having it. This third gear, though, like in that little section, should have been in fourth, maybe, for that. That would have probably been the best. Can we make this? Oh, we made it! We're just sliding all over the place, man. There's no... I'm not trying to stay in the lines here, if you guys know what I mean, man. I'm coloring outside the lines for today. Or at least that's what I'll say. Let's see what this thing can do here. We're going to try and tap a wall. Oh, it's close! Tap it! Oh, we got it! Okay. I don't know if we damaged anything. A little scared to look. Oh, Jesus. It's a little banged up, man. It's a little banged up. I'm sorry. I let this wheel fly. And we are just making it, man. It's so... I wish I was just a little bit more ahead, man. God damn. Alright, we're going to take this outside line. Because I wanted to. It's not because the car pulled me there or anything. But I think that's going to do it for today, man. I really had a fun time with this C63. Unfortunately, uh, I just, it took too long to get the car, man. I've been really agitated today. Now, the day hasn't been the greatest. And everything just wasn't working on here either. So I figured, you know what, instead of doing it all again, doing all the damn races, uh, let's just buy the damn car, and that's it. So I think I made the right decision for the day. We got to drive it. I had some fun with it. You guys got to see gameplay of it finally. But I'm happy at the end of the day I bought the car, man. It's a little greasy move to do, but um, I personally don't mind, right? I'm going to do the challenges later, get the car, and then I can sell it and, uh, yeah, make my money back. Or even, like I said, more money. So, we'll see what happens, man. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching once again. If you guys have not already, check out Fanatic's website down below. You guys can find some great wheels down there for your rigs. Guys, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all of which are found down below. Check out the side chain, Forza Motorsports 7. I'm out.